Dear learners, hope you are keeping fine. You are welcome to online class organized by Batka Union High School. I am Shofi Islam Shofi, Assistant English Teacher, Batka Union High School. Today I shall take a class on punctuation. You know that I have already taken a class on capitalization, that is on the use of capital letters. If you miss, <coughs> if you miss my class, you can watch it on my Facebook timeline or on the page of Batka Union High School or on the group of Batka Union High School. Remember, the page of Batka Union High School is in Bangla and the group of Batka Union High School is in English. So you have to search both in English and Bangla to find them easily. Now, I am going to take to this class. Have a look. I have written about some uses of punctuation. Here is a list of punctuation. First, we shall get acquainted with punctuation marks. So let's start. First, this mark is called full stop or period. And after that, this mark is called comma. After comma, this sign is called semicolon. And after semicolon, this mark is called colon. After colon, this sign is called dash. And after dash, this sign is called hyphen. Note, there is a bit difference between dash and hyphen. Dash is a bit long and hyphen is a bit short. After hyphen, this sign is called apostrophe and between and between comma and apostrophe there is a bit difference and in the second line this mark is called question mark and after question mark this sign is called no of exclamation or exclamation mark and after no of exclamation this sign is called ellipsis or dots and after ellipsis or dots, this sign is called bracket. You know that bracket is mostly used in mathematics, but it is also used in English. And after bracket, this sign is called oblique or slash. And after oblique, this sign is called asterisk. And here is the use of punctuation marks. First, full stop. Rule 1. Full stop is used after SRT imperative and optative sentence. We know that there are five kinds of sentence in English according to function and after three kinds of sentence we shall have to use full stop. Note, Nidhi is a brilliant student. This is assertive sentence and, our, and after assertive sentence we have used full stop. And after this sentence, do the work. This is Imperative sentence and after imperative sentence, may you be happy. This is optative sentence and you can identify assertive, imperative, and optative sentence very easily. In assertive sentence, at the beginning there is a subject, then verb, and at, and at the end there is an extension or object. Can be the subject is verb, a brilliant student will be an extension and imperative sentence there is no in imperative sentence there is no visible subject and in optative sentence at the beginning of the sentence we shall have to write may then rest part of the sentence will be much like a subject sentence may then subject then verb then object and rule two after abbreviated word Full stop is used after abbreviated word, after every abbreviated word. For example, S, S, C, H, S, C, L, B, B, S. Similarly, you can say J, C, F, C, P, S. And then, comma. Number one, comma is used to separate words from list. For example, he bought pen, pencil, and bag. There are some words side by side and we have separated the words uh, using comma. Pen, pencil, and bag. Number two. 
after addressing someone if we address someone we shall use comma after addressing the person for example saki come here here saki is addressed by someone uh, that's why we have used comma after saki then come here full stop after the words like oh yes no well if there is this, this after these words we must use comma for example yes i know him no i didn't do it well you can do it oh i don't know it number four after the word please if we find the word please we have to use comma for example please do it and after the word please we have used comma and number five after salutation and complimentary pose in letter in letter dear maria this is salutation and after salutation we have used comma and then you see her this is complimentary pose in letter and we have used comma and number six after reporting verb in dream is this he said i am happy here he said say this reporting verb in dream is this and after dream is this we have used comma and reported is this will be in inverted comma before tag question we have to see the tag question using comma before tag question comma is used she was busy here i have written comma after busy and after busy wasn't she this is tag question and we have separated the tag question using comma hope you are clear about this class no more today i shall take another class on this topic later stay safe stay home and keep learning